Sports.com. How are you? Great, Floyd. Nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We're here on Friday at training camp in Mankato, and joining us is Sharif Floyd. Yeah. Sharif, how's the first couple days of training camp? Everything's going great. Guys working hard, running around. It's been beautiful days, you know, so no complaints over here. i got to tell you, it's always really, really serious, the, the type of activities you go through, getting ready for a season. But we've got a lot of feedback from some of your players, especially, uh, you know, your linebackers. You try to figure out who that is, that you're the guy who pulls all the pranks on the team. What's going on there? What kind of pranks are you pulling on people? <laughs> You know, I like to enjoy the day. I like to have fun out throughout the day, you know, so um, I, I make sure my teammates smile and that's all. It's more so of that than it is a prank. And uh, and then when we step on the grass, it's serious. You know, we out here to play ball and we out here to, and to be serious and go fast. You were a rookie. Somebody pranked you. Who was yeah. the guy that you got to watch out for on the field? Um, I watch out for Everson Griffin. You okay. know, I feel like he he's one that you, you got to watch out for until we're on the grass. Then you want to know where he's at, you know, so but uh, Everson Griffin. Quiet guy. It's always that guy that gets you you don't expect. Yep. Now, you're an inside guy. Yep. I mean, that's got to be really hard. You're constantly double teamed. What's your magic? We saw you last year break through the line on several occasions. How do you break up a double team? Um, you know, just focusing on your man, and which in that case would be the guard. You know, he's the key to everything uh, when it comes to the three technique because I'm lined up over him pretty much 90% of the time. You know, so um, just playing your keys and understanding that he's the source to the double team and taking him away. What's, what's the matter of communication? You and Linval Joseph on the inside, you got some guys stunting, looping, you got blitzers coming in. How do you keep that all aligned during the game? Uh, you, that's, that comes with being a pro. You know, you, you got to be able to talk to the guy next to you and let him know that uh, I'm doing this, so you probably know what you got off of what I'm doing, you know. So if I forget a play and he tell me, hey, you got, I got this, so obviously I'm going away from him or to him, you know. So just depends on the call and, and uh, knowing your, your craft huge difference between year one and year two. You know, it's that magic ramp of going from a rookie to second year. You really broke through. What kind of lit up for you? What changed and made you so effective last year? Um, you know, just listening to what the coaches was trying to tell me and in, into the meeting rooms and taking it to the field, I think that was really key, you know, and, and after the first one, you know, it's downhill from there. You, you can keep them rolling by then. You now you know what to do, you know, so it's, uh, it's just about confidence. Well, you know, mild mannered guy like Mike Zimmer, I'm sure if you're doing something wrong, you don't hear anything about that, right? Uh, disagree. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, we'll just leave that one go. Well, listen, I appreciate you coming by. We'll see you during the rest of camp. We wish you the best success in 2015. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. It. Appreciate it.